This is part two of Tottenham Transfer Talk on Spurred On. I'm Barnaby Slater. I'm here with Tom Edwards from The Telegraph once again. Hello. We are going to discuss potential outgoings from the club, from the stories that have been in and around the papers this week. So we're going to start with an interesting one because very unlike Tottenham Hotspur in the summer, two of our better players, our best players in fact, have come out and said how happy they are to stay at the club and how it feels like home. That is Super Jan Vertonghen, Super Jan, had a better season this season than last season, and the star, the next massive mover away on a like 50 million transfer fee next year probably, in my opinion, Christian Eriksen, the yeah. wonder kid. What a player. Yeah. Uh, so they're kind of in love with each other, aren't they, Tom? They are, well, they are definitely in love with each other, yeah. I think that is beyond... beyond question of from that. their IX days oh they, they and, and you know the way they celebrate together they're yeah. always you know they love it um in fact super yan has got my favorite celebration of them all hasn't he when he scores one. the old yeah. super yan yeah. love but that. whenever ericsson scores he's always the first one over to it's very cute but we're glad nice. they're staying yes we are i mean there was a slight um a slight note of caution in in the ericsson quotes there was just a big yet right yeah. in the middle of the quotes where yeah. he said you know i'm not looking at any other clubs well yet which should have been in bold capital letters um i mean it's a worry because he's spoken before about his special secret plan, hasn't mm, he? He and has. Th that plan is quite obviously going somewhere else. But, you know, it's good to know that we're not going to have to be speculating about him I agree. all the way through And summer. as far as I'm concerned, if he scores enough top corner free kicks this coming season to get us in the Champions League, then that might bring him a new contract anyway. Um, yeah. Have to talk about this very briefly. Some new quotes from uh, Hugo Lloris that are being twisted, aren't they, by the papers. Every time he says anything, like he, all he says, as far as I'm concerned, all he says is, oh, yes, I'd like to play in the Champions League. Well, so would I, but it doesn't mean that I'm moving to Man United. It, I don't think it's the papers twisting it. I think it's very carefully placed quotes about well. the Champions League. I mean, the, my concern now is that Lloris is beginning to feel a lot like Gareth Bale mm. Mm. in the way that he's kind of... I mean, it's very early days, so you know I could be wrong. This is this is obviously speculation, um, but it is. It feels like he's ramping it up ever so gradually, and it makes me worry that there might be. Yeah, possibly. I mean, I have to say, agenda there. I've always wondered why we did buy Michelle Vorm last summer and why Vorm was willing to come in to sit on yes. the bench bench for years. So maybe him and Levy have a deal. Who knows? And I, I, I said last week, I think Vorm is a decent goalie, so yeah. I, I, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't upset me too much. I just hope that Levy does what he does best yeah. and that's get a huge huge transfer no doubt about that it'll probably be like 40 million quid um this one i have to say it seems completely ridiculous this united man united uh, offering money big money and like janisai or nanny or some of their other players for harry kane i mean let's just say it's not gonna happen is it no it's not gonna happen and if, am i right in thinking that harry kane was asked by a spurs fan uh, by a man united fan this week uh, and it was on Twitter, uh, or videoed, and he was said, uh, are you going to come to Man United? And he just said, F off. Okay. Did you see that? <laughs> I've, I've, I've see, I haven't seen any footage, but I, I have read it. I mean, what I liked is when he said that Tottenham are a big club. When yeah, someone said he's gonna of course, and he's absolutely is, right. And you, yeah, I, I can't and see... I can't he's gonna, see he is going to be our captain, or Bentaleb, as we move into Big Lane, I'm sure of it. The Big Lane new stadium. Think, yeah. uh, okay, and then just one final thing at the end of part two. Uh, Bentaleb still hasn't signed his deal. What's going on? No, he hasn't. Um, it's, it's agent stuff. Um, clearly, definitely, it's, it's, it's agent... Uh, his agent trying to Mr. Fifteen percent trying to get his bit yeah. of cash, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll see how it works out, Remy. I mean, we've we've set our piece on what we think should happen. I'm going to put you on the spot. Is he going to sign a new contract, Nabil Bentaleb? Is he? Yes. Okay, good. You heard it here first from Tom Edwards. That was part two, <laughs> part two of this week's Tottenham transfer talk. What did you think about the people we talked about potentially leaving the club or Super Yan and Ericsson being in love? Let us know in the comment section below. Follow us on Twitter at SpurredOnTV. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you for part three of this week's Tottenham Transfer Talk. Hello again, welcome back to Spurred On. I'm Barnaby Slater and I'm here for some more Tottenham Transfer Talk 